Hi everyone, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas, and I am here today. We are doing project number two with the Crafting With You stamp set and bundle. Now, I am going to make sure that I can see what's happening and that my sound is off on my computer so you don't hear an echo. Hang on. Okay, there it is. There's a few things happening this week, this month, that I'm excited about that I want to share with you. The first one is I will be having a live online sale in my VIP Facebook group tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. These are exclusive hard to find retired stampin' up items that you may or may not have seen before but come I only have one of each item and there are once it's gone it's gone so make sure you're there so you can be first to mention in the comments that you'd like it and claim it if you're not a part of my VIP Facebook group yet, make sure you go on and join the group. I will put a link um, on here later. So you have plenty of time before tomorrow. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Also, I will be doing a live in-person volunteer stamping event on Saturday afternoon. If you live in the Wichita area and would like to know more about that, make sure you contact me and let me know and I will get you all the details. I am so excited. I can hardly stand it. This arrived in my mailbox yesterday. This is the Stampin' Up! September through December catalog. It's where you can find all of the new products um, for fall, for Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's. If you are wanting brand new Christmas products for your Christmas card, that's where you will find them. And I'm going to start having online virtual parties in September, starting in September. So if you want to make sure to get on my list, get on my calendar, invite all your friends, maybe earn some free product for your Christmas paper crafting needs, let me know. Now what we're doing today is something a little different. We're not making a card. It is back to school week around here. Well, next week technically. By this time next week, the kids in my neighborhood will be in their schools. So, I've been making some back-to-school personalized notebooks. And that's what we're going to work on today. So, let me get you pointed down and we'll get started. I'm hoping that if you have any comments, I will be able to see them. So, 
no comment yet. So here we go. Okay, we are using the Crafting With You stamp set. Now, this is both photopolymer, but it's also a distinctive stamp set. See, it has that, mm, where's, where does it tell me? It doesn't tell me on this stamp set, but it is because I looked it up. That means that the images in here look shaded and um, have some different texture kind of with one single stamp. That's all you have to do, stamp it once. No layering of stamps needed, no coloring needed. Although I am gonna color on the die later, but the stamps do not need any coloring to create dimension and texture. And what we're doing today is we are creating, decorating my notebook. This is what I had. It's my planning notebook. It's all got all kinds of fun um, card design ideas and notes I've taken at conventions and that kind of thing. Whatever notebook you have, that is what you pick. And how you begin is you measure your notebook. And then you cut a piece of paper to go over the front. Now, I measured this notebook, and I've already cut a piece of masterfully made designer series paper, six by eight. And that will go on the front, so we're just going to glue it down. Now, when you're personalizing your own notebooks, if that is all you want to do, that's perfectly wonderful. That's okay. Just pick a pattern paper that you like, cut it to size, and stick it down. See how that already changes the look. If you wanted to go really crazy, you could get... Um, the different colors of paper and actually tear little pieces and put the collage on here to add more texture. Or you can just cut one piece of six by eight paper that looks like it's been torn pages, pieces have been added and it gives you the same look. Not the same feel, but the same look. I'm going to set this aside for now. And I am stamping first. I will be stamping the cut and emboss machine in basic gray. You see, as I stamp this, what I mean by distinctive stamps add texture and dimension with one stamp. There it is. The different elements of the image look darker in places and lighter in other places it looks very much like my stamp and cut and emboss sitting right over there which is what we're going to use next so we grab it this is the mini version So I'm going to build this 
start building my sandwich with base plate and one cutting plate. And then I'm going to take my page with the stamped image on it. I'm grabbing my frame and I'm going to line that up around my stamped image and add a little piece of washi tape so that hopefully it stays where it belongs. And then I am also using this die of a paper trimmer and I'm just going to cut out a white paper trimmer out of the rest of that piece of white cardstock. We put my other cutting plate on and get this started going through. And then hold the top of it so it doesn't slip around. Really, it slips far less if you actually set your cut and emboss on the table and not on a piece of grid paper. But you can see it if I didn't bring it over here. So. Here we have our cut and emboss. I'm going to go ahead and just trim up a little bit of the framed image. I am not really great at getting my frame exactly where I need it to be. So that's why. I have these scissors. We'll just trim it up and then it will look perfect. Okay, there's my cut and emboss machine. And then I have my paper trimmer. It's not wanting to pop out of this. Silly me, I didn't get my paper piercer or my ticker pick tool and I could just pop that right out of there if I had something to poke in there. But I didn't get that out, so let's try my scissor tips. And here we go. It's my paper trimmer, and here's the little piece that comes out of the center. It's already cut and embossed in the appropriate areas. Put that right over there. And now we are going to cut out a yellow root. Grab my yellow paper. And get that all lined up. Send my ruler through. And 
so this is it for now. We will be using it again. But I learned through um, losing several of them earlier today that you don't want to cut out the little piece that represents your cutting blade on your cut emboss until you're ready to immediately glue it down. So we'll do it later. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my paper trimmer. I'm going to color it a bit. These are, I'm using a smoky slate um, stable lens only because that's the only gray I had. These are retired, but I, this color is retired, I believe. But I'm going to color in the areas of the paper trimmer that are gray. You can make your paper trimmer whatever color you want to. But this is just what I decided to do today. So now we have our colored in paper trimmer and our ruler. And I already have a piece of Berry Burst masterfully made designer series paper cut and ready to go through my paper trimmer. This is don't even remember what size I cut it. One and a half by I don't know. Let me grab my paper trimmer and we will see. Yes, one and a half by four and six eighths, four and five eighths. So we won't be putting that through there, but we'll also be stamping on a piece of white one inch paper with our sentiment. It says life hang on life is better when you're crafting. We're using very first I'm going to stamp it right here. Possibly cut a little bit of it off here in a minute. I'm 
going to go ahead and glue down my berry burst paper with the glue on the cutting board itself. I will be cutting off the life is better when you're crafting at the end of the stamp to center. Right. We're going to glue this down. Now we'll be adding the trimming blade here in a minute, but I want to add the ruler just under the corner. So I'm just going to put a little dab of glue right there. with the ruler hanging on to the corner and my Stampin' Penny Claus is going to be attached up here. Put a little bit of glue right there and we're going to hold it for a second and now we're starting almost finished our little decorative piece pull the cut and emboss back And I'm going to get this little piece of white paper out of there. And then start building our sandwich. I'm using basic gray. Now what you do when you just want a part of the die. Let me see if you can see this is you either don't cover the entire die just the part you want or you just place it at the edge so that only the part you plan to cut is what's on the paper all right now i'm sending this through my handle keeps falling off and I don't to take care of it right but it's easy to pop back on. I can see that little piece right in there. So, oh, I will try to pop it out and not lose it. Grab my scissors. 
There it is. Okay. Now there is a right and wrong side on this. Um, you can tell where one looks more debossed, so it looks like the paper trimmer. And then you just line it up somewhere along your trimmer. I tried earlier to attach it with a mini dimensional, cut it four pieces, but it just still didn't look quite right. Okay, and now bring back the notebook. And we're going to attach our fancy little crafting with dimensionals, I think. My doorbell just rang. I don't have any idea, but I will check on it in a bit, or they can leave me a message. Okay, put that right there. Life is better when you're crafting. And this will be a very exciting, inspirational um, notebook to get my creativity flowing. I'm very excited about that. So you use whatever you have laying around your house to personalize your own notebook for you. And come back next Thursday at 2 o'clock and we are going to make a Christmas card with the Crafting With You set. And I hope I see you all tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in the VIP Facebook group.